Hello there, I am Prolix, and this is an any percent run of Full Throttle Remastered, uh, presented for consideration for inclusion at Summer Games Done Quick 2018. I do have the text language set to French. French won my bid war, so <laughs> no, I, I left the voices in English, but I, I just wanted to show off that was possible. And we'll kick off the run here. I am uh, recording my commentary over a run that I completed previously. So as it starts off, uh, we just skipped eight minutes worth of cutscenes. So congratulations. Um, if you're wondering why Ben woke up in a dumpster or what we're talking to this bartender about or why we're about to fight a biker on the road, you know, any percent doesn't contain any of that. Uh, if you want a run that shows off more of the story, then I did also submit a run of all major cutscenes as a category, and that one is much better for showing off the narrative of Full Throttle. It lets us see some of these, you know, wonderful and rich characters and experience a lot more of the jokes and humor that the game has for us. Uh, so as we get started here, we're in the first major puzzle section of the game. It's a small town called Melonweed. Uh, you play as Ben Throttle here, and uh, Ben's bike is currently broken, but a mechanic named Maureen here uh, is going to help us fix it. We just have to gather a few items for her. So first we returned her blowtorch to her. Uh, Big Todd had borrowed it, never gave it back. And now we're going to get some gasoline. We're at the gas tower in town. <laughs> but instead of just going and getting gas from that, some security guards come along and we siphon gas from their tank. Uh, you can see that uh, Ben's walking animation is kind of slow here. That plays into some of the speed tech available in the game. Uh, besides skipping cutscenes and dialogue, uh, here I'm going to do a map warp by... Um, you know, I walk over to the left to do something and then I need to get back to the right hand side of the screen. So I just leave to the map screen, come back in, and you know, Ben's back on the right hand side. And that's way faster than waiting for him to walk again. Uh, so we're going for our last mandatory item here. We just get a junkyard dog out of our way uh, by trapping it in this car. And then uh, we get the last part and we'll be on with the next portion of the game. Uh, so I've got a little bit of time to talk. Uh, mentioned that Full Throttle was originally released in 1995. It was a classic point-and-click adventure game by Lucas Arts, you know, makers of everything from Loom to the Monkey Island games, uh, Indiana Jones, Maniac Mansion, uh, all the way up to Grim Fandango. And uh, the remaster was released just last year, made by Double Fine, which is Tim Schafer's current company. Tim was the lead on Full Throttle back at LucasArts at the time, so they definitely did a nice job with this. Uh, I think they gave it uh, the treatment it deserves. You know, you've got updated graphics and, and sound was remastered, uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio is nice. And we escaped melon weed, and we're coming up on the best time for donations in this short run. I'm uh, actually going to be quiet here for a moment to let you get a feel for how long this is. And this is all because we're waiting for Ben to walk. <laughs> Yeah, still going. What a Yeah, so uh, a meta comment there outside of the run commentary, but just for as far as submission goes, yeah, I can give the host about a minute there to read donations and whatnot. Um, as I come up on uh, this car accident that I caused, but it's okay because it was the bad guy's car, you see a little bit more speed tech there. I actually chose to use the car with uh, my bare hands just to get Ben off his bike and get him moving as soon as possible. And what you actually want to do is use the tire iron with the car, but uh, the tire iron's in your inventory. So by okay. waiting to do your menuing after Ben is already moving, you save a little bit of time.
Uh, it's little things like that that have helped drive the time of this down a lot. Uh, we're entering a portion of the game called the Old Mine Road that I'll talk about later. But yeah, let's talk about timing. Um, the original Full Throttle had a world record of 1256, I believe it was, that stood for years, uh, performed by Big Man Japan. And I picked up the remaster uh, just because it's a, a little more convenient to run an updated game. And, uh, you know, I've, I've taken some tips from him, and then uh, he's, he's used some uh, improvements that I came up with. And then also, after I hosted at Awesome Games Done Quick 2018, uh, an Australian runner uh, named Murbo uh, found my full throttle remaster run and picked up the game. Uh, he beat my time once and we've just been improving uh, more and more. Um, you know, I'll come up with a tactic and then they'll have new ones. Uh, Murbo also went back and beat Big Man Japan's world record for the original game. It is now down to 11 minutes flat. So, like, nearly a two-minute improvement there. Uh, Big Man Japan, uh, he is a Russian runner, and to his credit, he also has a very low 11-minute time. So him and Murbo are quite close there. Uh, and I think the competition's awesome to see, and I just, I love the fact that having picked up the remaster has sort of led to a revitalization of running for both the original game and this one. So... Uh, that's that's important to me and, and something I really like. And beyond that, I I just want to showcase the game uh, because of how much you know point and click adventure games mean to me personally. And I know there's a lot of fans out there from Lucas Arts games to Sierra Classics like King's Quest and all the way up to uh, Mist. You know, I remember when Mist was the reason to have a CD-ROM drive on your PC. You know, it was the killer app and uh, full throttle is just a great one to show off it's a quick run um it, the all major cut scenes has a fantastic story to share and i want to do it as an homage to the adventure genre in general you know full throttle came around near the end of their real height of popularity and job, it's a it'd be a good a uh, good thing to showcase for them. Okay, so I'm on the old mine road here, and the uh, the biker fights. Uh, you know, when I'm streaming, we get a lot of references to Road Rash, <laughs> uh, and the combat in Full Throttle on the bikes is kind of a rock paper scissors system. So when I started off, you saw me skipping a lot of bikers. I'm I'm using skip skip cutscene here to jump ahead uh, to the spawn points and then the spawns are random so i started off with almost no weapons and i needed to beat the things that had the weapons that i needed to beat other bikers to get the parts i need to solve the puzzles and so on and so forth so I'm, I'm just getting my last part here and then I have to wrap around one entire more lap because the next location to visit, uh, well, I just passed it. So um, a, an entire other lap is required. As far as uh, consistency in, in the time goes, since the old mine road is the big RNG factor, uh, you'll see that my estimate will be much higher than my PB because if you need extra laps, each lap costs you about 30 to 40 seconds. Uh, this was a four lap run. Uh, my PB was a two lap run. Uh, but after the time difference of this split, um, again, I'm recording this after the fact, so benefit of hindsight, I know that my last couple of splits will stay at a time that's very close to where I end up on pace uh, with this split. And that's, yeah, because the old mine road has the biggest factor for your run uh, is that RNG. And outside of that, the run is quite consistent, so... Um, here's another great time for donations. Ben walking back to his bike takes about 30 seconds. Uh, since my host likely won't know when I'm going to be done with the old mine road, if they don't know the game, I'd, you know, be sure to clue them in as I finish up there. Um, but here we were with a puzzle section where we just had to jump that gorge and I was doing a few things, uh, getting some parts for my bike that would enable me to make that jump kind of like a, a stuntman did in the past. Uh, something you might have heard about um, if we were running all major cutscenes instead of any percent, but 
Um, oh yeah, I thought I would submit both. Uh, another meta comment here outside the scope of my uh, commentary, but uh, regarding the submission, yeah, I, w I wanted to offer you both any percent and all major cutscenes so you can decide. You know, do you want the uh, the quick run that uh, unfortunately you know might be uh, maybe a little incoherent to the viewer um, unless I do a fantastic job explaining uh, the story, which I'll certainly endeavor to. <laughs> uh, or do you want all major cutscenes where we can enjoy? Uh, the storyline and you know really get immersed in the game but uh obviously there's at the cost of time um all major cutscenes being about four times as long as this run is so leave it up to you uh which one to accept or both or bid war for them or what anyway <laughs> so now we're getting to uh the minefield uh here's here's a little speed tech you grab a bunny and place it up high on the screen so it can get a head start and then you pick up more bunnies with ben's ridiculously long arms yeah how is he doing that anyway <laughs> we're trying to get to that uh, part in the uh, top left corner of the screen that's the hideout of the vultures biker gang and that's where maureen the mechanic is uh maureen is the daughter of malcolm corley who runs corley motors the last motorcycle manufacturer in this game world we're here in Cor uh, corville where corley motors headquarters is as well as a stadium where we're soon going to be involved in a demo derby for reasons that go unexplained in any percent but uh, anyway uh the evil uh, uh antagonist adrian ripberger he um murdered malcolm corley and is trying to take over the company and maureen right now thinks ben is complicit in the murder so ben ends up in this situation Don't, just look away this will be over in a moment uh <laughs> there we go <laughs> no. uh ben luckily convinces maureen that he had nothing to do with her father's murder and now uh, he's going to help her set things right we're going to take some evidence we have that adrian ripberger is the murderer and we're going to get malcolm corley's last will and testament where he named maureen the heir to his company and we're going to clear ben's name get maureen to take over the company and all's going to end well pretty soon what are you doing uh, but first a demolition derby where uh, there's a little bit of puzzle solving here with this you have to arrange these cars in a certain fashion uh, push them up a ramp you know jump on top of the bad guy's car and then we set the stadium on fire as a distraction so that uh, the vulture biker gang can steal something we need and there you go <laughs> Oh man, uh, what else should I mention? Maybe some more of the voice actors in this game. I, I, I love the list, like Maurice LaMarche, uh, Nick Jameson, Denny Delk. Uh, Nick Jameson was the original voice of Kyle Katarn from Dark Forces, like the very first Dark Forces game, the one that spawned all of the Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy games. Uh, you know, I just, I grew up with names like Denny Delk and Nick Jameson in the credits of, of these games that I would play, so it's... It's, it's just a fun throwback for me to, to see them again and talk about them in this run. So here we grab uh, Malcolm Corley's Last Will and Testament from his safe. We got the combination thanks to something we did at the Demo Derby. And we sabotage uh, a meeting that Adrian Ripberger is having with Corley Motors shareholders. And we present our evidence that he's a murderer uh, and that Malcolm wants his daughter to take over his company. Adrian gets away. We ride off in the sunset. Wait, nope. Uh, since Adrian got away, he comes out of nowhere with a semi truck and tries to spoil things one last time. So you have this final showdown. There's just a little bit more puzzle solving. Uh, Maureen's gang, the Vultures, they come out of nowhere with a cargo plane uh, that they use to, to help us uh, you know, help us out here. We've got to slow it down because we're headed for the gorge where that bridge was out. Uh, so we lower the landing gear, we skid to a stop. Uh, first, we're hanging over the gorge though, so we drop uh, Rip Burger off into the gorge. That takes care of the bad guy. We've got to get out of here before this whole thing goes up in flames. So you hop on your bike when you do so that's time and that is it that's full throttle remastered uh always love watching the final cutscene. it's a cool guys don't look at explosions moment i i make that reference every time but it cracks me up uh yeah 
and there's a ceremony for Malcolm finally as everything's set right. Uh, you know, Ben and his biker gang are freed of, of any culpability. Uh, Maureen takes over the company. Um, and, you know, Adrian met justice. So, uh, there you go. That's Full Throttle Remastered. Any percent. Uh, thank you so much for your time and your consideration. And I look forward to seeing you at the event. Later. Bye.